Hi, my name is Scott Gary, ASC Certified Master Technician and Mercedes-Benz Certified Technician, and I'm here today to talk to you about your tires. What we have here is a good tire, as we call it, which is the men's specification, and also a used tire, well-used tire, which is worn below minimum specifications. Now what we do on tires for inspection of the tread themselves, of course we give it a visual on the car, but we also take a physical measurement, which is also a state required measurement for state inspections. And what we've got here is a tread depth gauge, and we've got, this one is actually indicated in three colors of green, red, and yellow, just like a stoplight. And if we see if we push down here in the center, although it may be hard for you to see, this is definitely into the red. So what we've got here is approximately 230 seconds, or obviously 1 16th tread depth. The state minimum is 430 seconds for the state of North Carolina, although that varies from state to state. More important thing, other than just measuring it for passing inspection, is the fact of safety concerns. Now, obviously, a tire with this little tread on it in the rain, on the road, at speed, is going to be pretty slippery. You can see on this tire that we measure in the center, we're well within specifications at 8.30 seconds. As I said, it's important to rotate your tires because your front tires are going to wear differently than your rear tires. Uh, whether that be all-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, or rear-wheel drive, it doesn't matter. You're going to get some difference in wear. In terms of rotation, typically recommend anywhere between 8 to 10,000 miles or on an annual basis. You may choose to have them balanced, which does not affect tread life, but of course affects the ride of the car. As tires wear, rubber wears off, tires become naturally out of balance. So we actually spin balance them on a computerized machine, put them back in the car, greatly improve your ride quality. All vehicles have a placard somewhere located on the vehicle that will give you your tire pressures. Now, of course, these tire pressures are what we call cold. So you want to check them if you can first thing in the morning or a cooler day or something like that, but not after a highway trip where the tires have really warmed up. This is to get your most accurate reading. Of course, if you do have a low tire and you have an indication, pull over and check it. You don't have to wait for them to cool down. On this particular vehicle, the tire inflation information is located inside this gas flap door. In this one, you can see that the front tires are recommended to be inflated to a setting of 32 PSI or 32 pounds per square inch. And the rear of this one is also 32. Now the caveat being, that is for normal load, meaning four passengers, no luggage, no extra load, no trailers or anything like that. You'll see below this is one that shows for maximum load, meaning maximum load of passengers and cargo. In that case, we go to a slightly higher pressure, which is 32 front, which is the same, but in the rear, you can see it says 38 PSI. So if you're going on a trip loaded with people or towing or things like that, you need to follow the guidelines. There will be a placard somewhere on your car. You may have to look for it. Might be in the door jams, might be under the hood, but it will be there. And often it gives you your spare inflation also, which does need to be checked. And of course we check that on services, but randomly check your spare to make sure that it is inflated for obvious reasons that you don't end up on the side of the road with a flat and a flat spare. One other thing I'd like to talk about, this is, this is a very commonly misunderstood mistake, I guess you'd say, that many people make is they look at the actual tire and will find, if you look hard enough, among all the small writing on here, you will find a maximum load pressure, 60 PSI. Now, obviously that is not, as you can tell from the placard, what we want to be running on these tires. The reason for that is this tire, or like any tire, can be used on many, many different vehicles in many, many different applications, some of which require high pressures, such as is indicated on the tire. This is just the tire manufacturer itself saying, do not exceed this pressure basically under any circumstances. Good advice. So you never want to go by what it says on the side of the tire. You always want to go by what the vehicle itself says. As always, you can contact us at SkylandAutomotive.com and schedule any appointment online.